but here we are. Going to uh, go through and drive there and show you how this thing goes on autopilot and whatever else. So right now there's right now we're on cruise. I'm driving on state routes like this where there's good line markings um, and usually like 55 um, you can do autopilot um, it's not recommended for side streets and roads but it can be done and this stretch of road is not too bad I do keep track um, pretty well about people uh, turning onto the road because uh, there are some hidden driveways like this one up here where this guy is uh, or our lady is about to turn uh, not paying attention of course she's you know, looking every so often but as you can see that there's a bunch of hidden driveways through here so you have to pay attention. Autopilot is not meant for you to just let it do its thing. Um, just recommend it to keep your hands on the wheel. They included this navigate on autopilot. Now what that does is it kind of gives you a little bit better insight, just a little bit more intelligence to your autopilot. It takes a look at your navigation you know, your, your entire trip, and it, you know, tries to go through and, um, it would take off ramps, uh, when you need, or at least try to, um, this is still a beta feature, so it, it's going to get some more refinement and work as time goes on, but with this, um, it, it's supposed to also do on-ramps and help you merge on on-ramps. Now, it also depends on the line markings on the road. Sometimes line markings aren't always, aren't always as great as what they, they should be. And that can lend to it doing not exactly what you expect. So you have to pay attention. Um, but it gives a little bit more intelligence. Also, once you uh, set a certain speed, if it, you're in a slow lane, it would suggest for you to go over into a different lane that might be faster um, to help keep you around the same time that, you know, it suggests that you're going to be there. Now again, with, with this route as well, it's another state route, you can do autopilot. Um, it does limit you typically to about 45, which is what the limit is here. So it, it does well. Um, some roads it will operate on 35, but not very, not always. So, but again, you really shouldn't be using it unless you're really certain that the road is uh, decent for you and decent for autopilot, no limitations. Now up here, uh, the road does split into two lanes and it does not handle this very well. It, it will tend to try to, to pick one lane and it will get confused and as you can see the lines in the middle disappeared. Well, the, the left line you know, went left and you know, to open up the other lane, but there was no center line for it to follow. And typically it will try to follow the left line um, if it notices it's a center line. If it is not a center line, um, like on a highway here, it will typically um, 
take you to the right. Uh, like with uh, any kind of merge or exit uh, lanes. So now that I'm on the highway here, get pretty close up to speed. Now I'm in autopilot as well as the navigate on autopilot. So this actually has a center line in the middle of the uh, the lanes here. And instead of the two lanes lines on the either side, um, that would typically be for um, your typical normal autopilot, you know, for the lane markings. Um, as you can see, it pits up the other lanes, uh, but this will suggest um, if you're in a slow lane or going slower than what your your speed that you set, um, it will suggest for you to move over if it detects up ahead. And I assume with the radar as well as with the cameras, um, it, it does the calculation on whether or not this lane is going to be slower. So. It would give me a suggestion to get over into the yellow lane if that's going to be a faster, faster and more consistent as far as the speed uh, for you. As you can see, I, I've been going, I'm set to 70, which is speed limit, uh, and so far I haven't slowed down. Now with the traffic up here with this one truck, um, and everyone is going off into the left lane, it should, within the, the next minute or so, pop up and show me a line over in the yellow lane, suggesting the lane change. Now this car is going to be in the way, as well as the semi and this other truck. Um, so I've already slowed down to almost 60. This should suggest here in just another moment. Sometimes it waits until, at least my opinion, it waits until at least it's sort of clear. But here's the time period if you're going so at a certain speed and it's not picking back up, it would suggest for you to kick over. Um, and it should any, any moment here. Here we go. You can see this other lane car is passing and showing you red line with the blind spot, but it's now suggesting confirm lane change to a faster lane. So I'll turn on my signal. Um, you can actually confirm with the autopilot stock as well, but now it'll kick me over into this faster lane around from these uh, trucks, and actually I will bump speed up a little bit because I don't like hanging around. The side trucks. You can, as you can see, it'll still let you go through do a, a lane change on your own um, in autopilot, in navigate on autopilot. Um, but it may still go through and suggest that I get back over um, because I'm going slower than the speed that I have set. Now, on this. I do have this set currently, the average. Um, the mild didn't seem like it wanted to suggest as much. But, um, I mean, this autopilot is great. As you can see, I already was in this lane for this one exit. Um, and it, it did adjust my, my speed down some, and it's actually not doing as well through this is what I'm used to because usually traffic is terrible. Now this operates correctly. Um, where there's a split, it seems to operate just fine. And that's way faster than what this turn is supposed to be. But um, it, it handles this typically pretty well. Now, I do have someone coming up behind me on the one side and the other that's going, that's merging in slowly. Not 
not the best purge. They did slow down at least. Um, but as you can see back there, um, it took the exit just fine um, with the split. Now hopefully this is fairly stable. Hopefully it, it got a decent view of everything. Um, and uh, be able to go through and see pretty well what everything is like driving a Tesla. But uh, I hope you enjoyed all this so far, um, and I'll see you around.